Hey, hey, what's good, people? Your boy Tom's back once again, and uh, on this message, I want to talk about how we should be removing narrow mindedness. Because I, I do see some people out there that they'd be thinking that be thinking so narrow minded where they don't consider the other point of view of truth and what other people think and then stuff like that. You know, we're like this one person I uh, was thinking so narrow minded that she thought like, I'm part of a cult. Just because I rap about Jesus Christ and and for the way I dress like a hoodlum or a baller, it's like I don't know how you think that's wrong. It's like because God never said it's wrong. Like we're in the Bible to say it's wrong to rap about Jesus and to dress a certain way. <laughs> when in the Bible, uh, people sang praises to Jesus, so why can't we rap praises to Jesus? You know what I mean? And and who the heck are you to say that I'm part of a cult just because? I rap, it's for the way I dress and stuff. It's like, I don't know where you get that from. I mean, it doesn't matter how you dress, it just depends what you're repping on your clothes, where it's not like I'm wearing satanic stuff, like how you see some people wear these Iron Maiden or Slayer shirts that's repping these demonic creatures, or it's not like I'm wearing clothes that give a bad message or a blasphemous message. <laughs> but I don't get why this one person feels intimidated and thinking I'm part of a damn cult for the way I rep Christ when I'm not doing anything wrong I'm just promoting good morals from God and telling you how to live right. And I like how people rep Christ in their own unique ways because it's what makes us different, awesome, and unique and it balances out and makes us, it makes the world go round. And I'm glad God made us all different, unique, and awesome in our own ways is just amazing, yo. And for this person to think I'm part of a cult, it's not like I'm trying to get money out of people because my mom told me uh, usually cults try to get money out of people. And if she thinks I'm part of a cult, it's not like I'm um, uh, repping satanic stuff or swearing or being mean. <laughs> I just like being cool, awesome, and loving in my own way that amazes people, blesses people, and touches people, yo. But yeah. We need to be uh, as open-minded as we can and with uh, other point of views in this world and, and the truth and uh, what people think. Cause even this one guy said, like, everybody has their own point of view. And being as open-minded as you can will, uh, help us continue to grow and uh, become smarter each time. Because I can't stand some people just be so narrow-minded where some people will uh, automatically judge something that's not really true without investigating first and doing research. Yeah, like people up in Timmins, Ontario that, that, that I've uh, been around, uh, if they be thinking so narrow-minded where I, I tell them that you don't need religion to serve God, or it's just better like to, to have a relationship with Him and live for Him and do His works, but and, and some of them try to convince me that I have to have religion. <laughs> you know, without considering like my point of view on, on what I'm telling them. I'm telling them like real, real, real interesting facts. To open up your eyes and mind to things. That they should take consideration into and uh, take heed with it. Yeah, it's like they tell me I'm a sellout if I don't have a religion. But that's not even important. Like, religion is the one that uh... That caused all the problems in this world, man. So ever since religion started, like it, ca like it caused all the problems, like with wars and, and stuff, and, and this division. You know? And God, and Jesus never told us to join religion, as Jesus told us to make disciples of all nations. And when I told my brother uh, all this false stuff that people were thinking of, of me, I remember my brother was like, "I don't get why people in Timmins have to think so narrow-mindedly of of stuff when they should." But even my brother knows that religion is man-made, cause he's like how my brother, like he cares about God and Jesus and not religion. So much respect to you there, James. <laughs> and plus, you're not gonna learn anything being narrow-minded or have a fun, awesome attitude to uh, with that. <laughs> so that's why I encourage you guys out there: just be as open-minded as you can, can, yeah, so, cause it's a good way to learn and uh, to f it's a fun type of attitude. And pe people love seeing that attitude, you know. Like, I don't approve of narrow-mindedness. It's just, it's, it's not good, you know? Like, people, people will get the wrong intentions and the wrong thinking. But before I shut this video down, I just want to say, uh, to, the, to all the people who have a gentle spirit out there, that you're real precious in the eyesight of God. <laughs> That's what it says in the book of 1 Peter, that, uh, a gentle spirit's real precious in the eyesight of God. God, and I don't, bl I don't blame God. <laughs> because, like, because being a, because being a gel being a gentle spirit is friggin' awesome. <laughs> awesome. And I'm inspired by like pure, innocent, gentle spirits, you know? It really they touched my heart and inspired me just to 
to be more of that like them. <laughs> anyway, I hope this message has blessed you. As um, that's all I got for this video, and uh, you guys take care and have a good one. And may God be with y'all, and uh, may God bless y'all lives and y'all families out there. <laughs>